I'm going to bring you something. Go on to the book of Psalm, chapter 46. That's where we're going to be at mostly tonight. I'm going to bring you something tonight that this message came about. For some of you, you know, over the last three or four weeks, we've had some tragedy in our family and some things that's happened and come up. But God is still God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Always. I was sitting one morning. Hallelujah. I love to get up early and get in the Word and pray and talk. Hallelujah to the Lord. And, I, and I'm, a, I'm a person, I love to text message. Some of you know that. Amen Come to God. On, amen. And, and I, I text everybody good morning and I loved them and appreciated them. And I got a text message back from my mother-in-law. And it was just right after a certain event happened and uh, I was really a little bit discouraged and just kind of thinking, well, Lord, you know, it's going to be all right eventually because you're in charge, you're in control of it, and hallelujah. But we get down. How many have ever been down, amen, to God? Amen. Where you've been discouraged, where you almost was like Elijah and you just wanted to give up and quit the thing, amen? Come on. Hallelujah. And the text message said, from Psalm 46.10, but we're going to read the whole chapter, it said, be still and know. That I am God. Amen. And that's all the text message said. That's all she oh, wrote me. And I sat there and I read it a minute and I thought, glory. And I felt the Holy Ghost stirring up in me. Because I was really discouraged. And I said, Lord, hallelujah. If that's what you want me to do, I will be still. Come on. Because a lot of the times in our day, we're so busy running to and fro, Amen. doing this and that, hallelujah. And we're so busy to hear the voice of God. He said, my sheep will know my voice, praise God. And I'm telling you today, if we don't take time to be still and know He is God, to listen to Him, praise God, we're going to miss out. Come on. So in that moment, that text message was meant for me and I claimed it for me. Because Amen. He said, Mike Hesley, be still. And Come know on. that I am God. Glory to God. He Amen. Hallelujah, Lamb of God. That ought to get you excited. Be still. Be still. And yeah. know that I am God. So Amen. let's start reading in verse number one, and we're going to read through verse 10 in Psalm 46. Reading from the King James Version, by the way, man. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. I won't keep you long tonight, but man, I'll tell you. This is a word, praise God, that we all need to grasp a hold of and apply it to our lives. Come on. We shouldn't have to wait when something bad happens to grab a certain word, amen to God. We should take the word daily, amen to God, and apply it to ourselves. Because I tell you, when all else fails, God's word, the try true word will still be standing, amen to God. Throughout the, day, the centuries, amen to God, the word of God has stood the test of time. Hallelujah. Some of these false prophets have come and gone. They've given their thoughts and opinions, but the word of God is still standing, amen, amen. to God. Yeah. And they can't get rid of it. Hallelujah. He said, my word is forever. Amen. Amen. Go over to God. Psalm 46, beginning in verse 1. The Bible says, God is our refuge and strength. Hallelujah. Come on. Praise God. Look at your neighbor and say, when I'm weak. Praise God. He's my strength. He's my strength. He makes me strong. Amen. He makes me strong. Amen. Hallelujah. It says He's a very present help in trouble. Come on. Glory to God. The way things are going today, we need Jesus. Amen. Amen. Verse 2, Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters therefore roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Salah, there is a river. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody say, there is a river. There is a river. And now, I'm not talking about a natural river. I'm talking about that oh, living man. water, Brother Oscar, yeah. that's flowing oh, today. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Where if you drink of that water, you'll never thirst again. Oh. Amen. <laughs> Woo. There is a river. The streams there whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. <clears throat> And she shall not be moved. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank God for that. Hallelujah to the Lamb. God shall help her and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He, his, he uttered his voice, and the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. She's fine. Praise God. She's all right. Salah. Come behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. 
He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still. Go over to God and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted yeah. in the earth. The earth. Yeah. Not only in this earth is he talking about, but this earth too. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. He said he will be exalted, amen, to God. In this earth, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost, amen. Come on. To where his spirit dwells. So I want to talk to you tonight for a few minutes on that out of verse 10. That's the title of my message. Be still and know that I am God. Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we truly thank you for another Lord, opportunity God, to talk to you. Jesus, Father, I pray Father, that you pray would tonight, Lord, hide me behind the cross tonight. Let me God, decrease as you increase. Tonight, Father, whether we're Father, going through word, hell and word, high water, whether our, we're on the mountaintop or the valley, dear God, word, let us take this word and, and apply it to our lives. Oh, Lord, your word oh, brings oh, faith oh, and increases oh, our faith, Lord. And forgive us in any way we've failed you. And we rebuke and bind the devil and command you to leave in Jesus' precious name. The name and the church Jesus. says, Amen. And Amen. Hallelujah amen. to the Lamb of God. She's fine, sister. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want her to shout and say amen. If Hunter was here, he'd be loud, loud, loud. My Lord, I tell you. But she's fine. Let her shout. Amen. Be still and know I'm God, he said. Amen. So let me give you a little bit of a history lesson from this psalm real quick before we get going. This was written, David wrote this psalm at the time when the Assyrian invasion of Judah was taking place. And it was written for the people of Israel because they needed assurance of God's deliverance. The church today needs assurance of God's deliverance. Yeah. The church today is running to and fro. And when I told you I'd seen Brother Tim's wife, Sister Olivia, today, we talked and she said something before we departed, before we prayed with one another. She said if the church would actually take time and preach what the Word of God says and trust the Jesus, we wouldn't see the stuff that's going on today. Come on, that's right. And a lot of the times, some of the problems that people are in today, not all the times, but some, are because of their own doing. Yeah. Because of the choices they make. When you make certain choices, there's always consequences for hey, them. Amen. Amen. I use me as an example. Almost five years ago, when I tried to take my life, Hallelujah. It don't mean when I called out to God, He didn't forgive me, but there's still consequences to the choices. I have somewhat of a weak arm and leg. Hallelujah. I, I'm not 100% like I used to be, but that's okay. Jesus is still good. Amen? Come on, come on. See, there's nothing wrong. Amen. To God. See, He spared my life and gave me a, another chance for the Oscar. Yes, He did. See, there's consequences because I don't get to see my oldest boy as much as I want to. But, you know, we've been talking. So God is still good. Amen? Amen. So, see, I can handle that. Praise God. And I've come to learn in my life. Like Paul said, see, I prayed a prayer months ago. and I've heard me mention this. Paul said in Acts chapter 20, verse 24, he said, none of these things shall move me. And my prayer to the Lord was, Lord, Help me get to that place as Paul was, Come on. as some of the pioneers of the faith was that's passed on. Let me get to the place, Lord, to where I can say like Paul did. Lord, let none of these things move me. Let none of these things shake me. Let none of these things discourage me or put me down. But Lord, let me be steadfast in you Come with on. faith in your word to believe that no matter what, no matter what the devil throws in my way, I can put up the shield of faith in Jesus' name Amen. and he quenches all the fiery darts from the wicked one and it will Come stop by the devil's lies and attacks if I just hold the shield up and take the word of God, which is that soul. Come on. Amen. And go on. Help me be like that, Lord. Yeah. And I'll tell you, I see the effects of that prayer daily. Come on. Be careful what you ask for because it will come. Yeah. Follow me. Amen. I prefer, and I tell people, listen, people, Christians think I'm half nuts when I say it, Brother Billy. But I prefer the valley better than a mountaintop. And you say, why is that, Brother Mike? Because in the valley, I can become more like He is. Come on. Amen? Amen. That sounds crazy because we love the mountaintop. 
you know, we like that song, the hallelujah side, you know, where everything is bubbly and shouting and dancing and praising God. But we got to continue to chip away at this old fleshly self we've got. Come on. And that way we can do it is in the valley. Amen. So I thank God for the valleys. I thank God that it gives me the opportunity to be still and know that He truly is God. Amen. To be still, praise His name. When things are going on, and I've got things going on in my family. Y'all know my dad, He a few weeks back, he had an accident at work and broke his back, his lower back completely. But God, two weeks later after having surgery, He's up walking around telling me the God we serve is not a good God. Brother Billy said it earlier. He said the God we serve still performs miracles. Yes, I'll tell you, I look at my dad today. Hallelujah. And he's up walking around. Hallelujah. Didn't need a cane. Didn't need a walker. He Come was on. walking with his own two feet. And I'm telling you that God truly is good. On, Amen. Amen. You ought to shout about that, hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> and my dad's 68 years old, and they wouldn't give him a plug nickel. But they said, hey, I'll tell you, the Lord has preserved thee. The Lord has Come kept on. thee, amen, to God. And dad told me, he said, I thank God for all the prayers that went up on my behalf. Come because on. our God is a prayer answering God. Yes. If we amen. be still and know he's God, amen. Come on. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. That still gets me excited, amen. Amen. So I want to show you a couple things out of this chapter and then we're going to go to the house. Amen? Come on. <clears throat> I'm, I'm so encouraged right now in the Lord. I'm about to split this old earth suit, Brother Oscar, and yeah. just go on, amen, to God. Hallelujah. I want to, but I don't because there's still souls out there that right. need to hear the gospel. Amen? Come on. Something to know, first off from this, God is, hallelujah, Go back to verse 1, Psalm 46. It said, God is our refuge. He is our strength. Amen? Yeah. <clears throat> A very present help in trouble. I'm telling you today, church, be encouraged in the Lord. No matter how things, how bad things look. And I'm preaching to myself too tonight. More I'm preaching to me. And this may be affecting some out here tonight. Some out there through, hallelujah, YouTube and other preaching the truth broadcast. Hallelujah. But I'm mainly preaching to me because I've got to encourage myself in Him. That my God is my refuge. My God is my strength. When I don't have any more God, you are my strength. You are my lifeline, amen, to help me make it through, amen. Amen. So something to know from this is that God is. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and say, God is. God is. <clears throat> Not was, but He is. Was. Hallelujah. He still performs His Word. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. This, I, I, I found this article and I wanted to read this to you. This guy named Kirk Devine wrote this, this statement right here. And it's really good. It said, I've had some troubled times in my life. I've had times when it seemed like I wasn't going to make it and get on through. Sometimes when I didn't know whether I was coming or going. Sometimes whether I didn't know which way was up or down. But I'm glad that I had the refuge in Jesus. I'm glad I had a place of shelter. Hallelujah. In Christ. See, in Psalm 91 verse 1 and 2, it says... He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen? Come on. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Yes. My God in Him Come on. will I trust. Amen. Woo! Go over to Amen. God. Yeah. If you're looking for a refuge today, run to Jesus. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Brother Billy, you remember about a year or so back you preached a message about that refuge city. Remember that? Yeah. Where when they were in trouble or guilty yeah. of something, there was a refuge city. There was oh, a name of that. Yeah. Hallelujah. City of Refuge. The City of Refuge. Yeah. They would run to that city until it was time to judge them. Come on. But that was set aside for them. Yeah. Now look in the Spirit. God has set aside a place of refuge in Him. Okay. Hallelujah, oh, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lamb of God. He has set yeah. aside that city of refuge. Come and on. he said, run to this city, amen to God. Yeah. Run, Brother Mike. Run, Brother Billy. Run, Brother 
of the Oscar to this Ooh, city of refuge. Yeah. And I'll protect yeah. you yeah. from the wicked evil one. Amen. Yeah. Because if they didn't make it to the city of refuge, yeah. Yeah. they could get killed. Amen. And nothing could stop anybody yeah. from hunting them down. Yeah. Tonight, you and me, we have an adversary, and it's the devil. Come on. He will chip away any way he can, whether it be our finances, whether it be our health, whether it be our family, whether it be, amen to God, the congregation, he will do whatever it takes to break you down. But I've always said this, when the <clears throat> devil's got a plan to take you out, God has already got a plan, hallelujah to God, in motion to keep you in. Somebody say amen, amen. 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 I'm telling you tonight, he is our refuge. Yeah. He wants you to run to that city. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. We have a shelter because God is. Amen? Come on. Thank you, Lord. Another thing, something to believe that the Lord of hosts is with us. Amen? Yeah. Go back to verse 7 in Psalm 46. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Amen? Come on. He also promised he would never leave us nor forsake us. Amen? How many knows that when everybody else is abandoned, that Jesus has stayed by your side? Amen. Go over to God. It don't matter when family and friends walk away from you. Jesus is with you. Amen. Come on. Y'all remember that old, what was that poem years ago, Footprints in the Sand? Yeah. When the man was walking, hallelujah, and he seen another set of footprints, and then all of a sudden he only seen one set. Things were going on. And at the end of it, he said it was the Lord that told him it was then that I carried you. Amen. See, he's carrying us today. Hallelujah. Come on. He's carrying us through. Hallelujah. All the trials and tribulations we're going through today. Amen. Because God is. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Come on. Psalm chapter 9, verse 9 says, The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed. A refuge in times of trouble. We're in times of trouble right now, church. Amen. This nation's in times of trouble. We've sitting there and we prayed for the presidential election yeah. candidates. Romney and Obama. Yeah. I tell you, I don't have anything personal against them, but Obama needs to be voted out. He needs to get out of the White House. Now, I'm not a Romney fan, but I tell you, we've got to get somebody in there better than what we've got. Amen. What we really need is a Holy Ghost filled Christian, amen to God. We need somebody who's going to stand up for their faith, amen to God, and not cower down because the Muslim faith is coming after them, amen. Come on. They want to make nice with the. I'm just being truthful here. I'm going to get in trouble for it, but I might as well say it. Obama just wants to make nice with the Muslims because right now there are a majority of them than it is the Christians. Come on. There you go. Come on now. I tell you, Christians today won't die for what they believe in, but Muslims will. Yeah, right. Amen. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying be a Muslim. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I'm just telling you, they go above and beyond for their, quote, religion. That's yeah. Right. Because they're promised if they die for Allah, that He will reward them when they get over on yeah. the other side. Amen. I tell you, they got a reward coming. It's called the lake of fire. Come on. It's Amen. called torture, pain, suffering, heartache, misery. That's their reward. But for us who remain faithful and true to Jesus, amen to God. Those who are not ashamed of Christ, amen to God. Amen. And what He did at Calvary. Yeah. Those who are not ashamed of Jesus. Come on. Praise God. We're going to get our reward one day. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm-mm-mm. I'll tell you, that'll get you in trouble saying that, but it's the truth. And if the truth gets me in trouble, so be it. So be it, amen to God. I'm not a Muslim, and I don't believe we need to be called Muslims, our brothers and sisters, amen? Because they are not. They are of their father, the devil, amen? Glory to God. That preach. Come on. Yeah. Had to do that another time, amen? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But we have... We have the knowledge to know that God is with us and will never leave us. We have something to believe in, someone to believe in, if you will, amen? Yeah. Who will not let us down. Because He's telling us, just be still and know that I am God, amen? Amen. Hallelujah to God. Another thing, it's something to see. Come behold the works of the Lord. Verse number 8. 
Come behold the works of the Lord, what desolations He hath made in the earth. Hallelujah. I got to thinking about this. How many how many's ever gone bass fishing or fishing for a catfish or crappie or it? Praise God. We probably all have. How many has ever caught? I remember when we was little, Brother Oscar. My dad was an at he boy, he was a fisherman. I tell you, he used baits that I thought he was half nuts. He would use ivory soap to catch catfish. Come on. I mean, I thought he was crazy, but he caught him left and right. He also took y'all. Y'all remember that uh, that bubble gum, that big league chew, where it's in shreds in the pack? He would take that and wad it up in a ball, put it on the hook, flick it out there, and catch it. I could not, for the life of me, I could not understand that. But I remember one time, Dad come in. We we didn't go with him. Dad talked about this big old fish he caught. Oh, you should have seen it, Michael. It was this ginormous fish, and he was saying it out. And we're thinking, you know, is he making more of this than what it was? Did he catch just a little, a little, a little bass oh. trying to make out this big thing? <laughs> Hallelujah. You said, what's that got to do with seeing the works of God? Because I tell you, you can praise God, take the word of the Lord. When he tells you he's doing something big, it's the truth. Yeah. But hallelujah, a lot of people today are deceived by the spirit of Antichrist, so they get up there and they give somewhat of a truth on how big such and such, and such is. They usually brag about their buildings, about their, how much money they're making, how, how many nice cars and clothes they're, they're wearing and driving and stuff. People fibbing and stuff. There's a, there's a lying spirit out there today, church. And God is trying to show us, praise God, you can believe in Him. Whatever He promises He'll do, He will do it. Amen to God. Behold His works. Behold the good things of God. Amen. Because when He does something, it will leave you absolutely speechless. Amen. Amen. I have never seen a time God has not done something to where I was just at the point of, wow. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's telling us, be still and know He's God. Amen. Yeah. Remember when Moses... And the children of Israel went up to the Red Sea, Brother Billy. Remember that? Pharaoh's army were pursuing them. And they didn't look like they had no hope. Yeah. I bet you more than anything at that point, they're like, well, we just need to give ourselves up yeah. and just let Pharaoh go back to it. At least we'll have something to eat. Yeah. That's like some of the church today, yeah. the, the worldly church. Yeah. Well, you know, if we just compromise a little bit, a little sin, a little bit of sin in, Come it's on. okay. A little bit of rock music behind the pulpit. Come on. Amen to God. Let the preacher shack up with two or three choir members. Come on. Come on now. If we just let a little bit of compromise in, you know, we, we can go back and we can be comfortable and we don't have to be out of our comfort zone. But Moses said, listen to me, children. Stand still. Hallelujah to oh, God. Hallelujah. And see the salvation of God. Amen. Glory to God and God parted the Red Sea that day. And it said they walked through on dry ground. Yeah. They, if they would have been still and know He was God and trusted His Word, amen, to God, they would have knew all along God was going to set them free. But they're complaining and murmuring all the time. They wouldn't have had to wander so many years in the wilderness if they would have just shut up. Come on, that's the truth. Come on yeah. now. That's like the modern church. Yeah. If they would just shut up every now and then and quit complaining and murmuring about everything, well, Brother Billy didn't sing my song, I'm on. so I'm going to have to just quit. Yeah. Brother Mike said something about my favorite preacher, Joel Osteen. I'm on. We can't have him back. Yeah. And I, I, I heard from the particular pastor of that church that that woman still was mad at me two years later. Yeah. Because I said that about Joel Osteen. Well, if you notice, he's hanging around Oprah who don't believe there's a God. Come on. Come on now. And he himself don't even believe it to preach against sin. I'm telling you, something's wrong yeah. there. Amen. They're deceived. Amen. They need to get saved. Man, I'm going down there. I better stop and go back on my work. Amen. Help me, Jesus. Sometimes you get going, you can't stop. Amen. Come on. Thank you, Lord. God is indeed doing what He promises you if you're, if you're faithful and obey His Word. Amen? Come on. Behold the works of the Lord. Amen? 
Something to witness is the exaltation of God. Verse number 10. Be still and know that I am God. The early church leader Augustine was once accosted by a heathen who showed him his idle hand and said, Here is my God, where is thine? Augustine replied, I cannot show you my God, not because that there is no God to show, but because you have no eyes to see him. Wow. Mm. Amen. Can I read that again? Is that all right? Yeah, read it again. The early church leader Augustine was once accosted by a heathen who showed him his idol and said, Here is my God for his eyes. Augustine replied, I cannot show you my God, not because there is no God to show, but because you have no eyes to see him. The church don't have no eyes to see him, do they? Amen. They're not walking with the eye, looking with the eyes of faith. Amen. We all need to be looking with the eyes of faith. Each and every one of us, preachers, singers, teachers, people to set in the pews, everybody. We've got to look with the eyes of faith. Because in our carnal eyes, we can't see at times how God's going to work it out. But you know, in my mind when I was little, I couldn't see how mixing all that cake dough, eggs, and uh, 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 cooking oil and all that and water, how I could mix it all together and get a nice chocolate cake out of it. I could not understand that. Just like I couldn't understand how a, a uh, praise God, a white cow could give chocolate milk. Come on. Which, you know, they didn't. They meant to God. People added stuff to it. But, you know, when I was little, you know, when you're little, you don't know, you're thinking, wow, you found a, a cow that could give you chocolate milk. Glory to God. Amen? Come on. It's just that thing. We, we don't understand sometimes in the natural. But in the Spirit, if we've got the Word in us, we can stand upon His Word. Praise His blessed name. And know that He will perform what He promised us. Amen? Come on. Because if He don't live up to His Word, then that makes Him a liar. And my God is not a liar. And His name is Jesus, by the way. Let me say that. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. As we're closing out now, I'm going to give you three truths from this psalm. The first thing to remember when stuff is going wrong, when all hell is breaking loose, when tragedy and turmoil is taking place. Remember this, God is always near and available to you and me. Amen? He will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. He won't put us on hold, and He won't make us leave a voicemail. Amen? Come on. He answers every time you call Him up. What was that song years ago? Call Him up. Call Him up tell Him what you want. Yeah. Jesus on the main line now. Amen? Amen. He's good. He doesn't put us on hold like AT&T or the cable company would. Amen? Come on. God is always anxious to hear from you. Amen? He is always excited to hear from you, Brother Oscar. Yeah. He wants to know about our lives. But sometimes we just don't tell Him. Amen? We keep it all bottled up. And no wonder we have stress and then eventually we have heart attacks and we die. Come on. He wants us to just give it to Him. The second thing, God's power is greater than anything in this world. Greater than any storm or wind, earthquake or volcano, any, any tornado, anything. His power is greater. God's power is sufficient to win the victory over all the enemies that come your and my way. Amen? Come on. He is our refuge and strength. Don't be afraid to ask Him for help. Amen? <coughs> and the last thing. God's help works even when we can't help ourselves. How many has ever heard that old saying, God helps those who help themselves? Yeah. That's not scriptural. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I've had that thrown at me a time or two this past week. God helps those who help themselves. I said, no. I said, all you got to do is call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. All you got to do, whosoever shall call. Upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah. See, praise God. Peter, when he was sinking, when he walked on water, took his eyes off Jesus, on, got him on the storm for a moment, he began to see. Peter got a revelation to call upon the Lord. And Jesus went. Come on. Reached down his hand. Yeah. Hallelujah. And he's doing the same to each and every one of us tonight. We get our eyes on our problems, our situations in life. 
But he's saying, look back on me. Call unto me. Come on. And I'll lift you up so you don't drown. So yeah. you don't get overtaken and overcome with the things of this life. Stand Amen. your feet with me tonight. I know I, I hope I didn't keep you too long tonight. It's just this little thought began from that text message. To be still and know that I am God. And I'll tell you tonight, now more than ever, I'm hanging on to that promise because I need it. I have to have Him every day. I can't do without Him one day. So tonight, whatever you're going through, whatever problems you may be having, like I said, uh, financial problems, you may be having family problems, problems at your job, problems in your body, whatever problems you're having, just be still and know He's God. Amen. Be still and wait to hear His voice. Because He won't leave you hanging. Amen. Father, thank You tonight for Your Word. First off, thank You, Lord, for saving our souls. Thank You, Lord, for making a way when there seemed to be no way. Thank You, Lord, that when we be still, we will know truly You are God. You are the only God. I pray, Lord God, tonight everybody under the sound of my voice hearing this message will receive a blessing, Lord, will receive a touch on the line. Those that are lost, Lord, that's never known you, I pray you would tug at their heart with this word. Those that are backslidden, Lord, you would do the same to them. Those that are sick in body, Lord, you would perform your word and heal their bodies. Those who have got emotional problems, you would set them free from that. Let us take your word, Lord, and stand upon it and build our lives on it, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. And Lord, be with us as we depart as well. Guide us to our home safely, Lord, on the highways and byways, Lord. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.